welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I just wanted to do a get ready with me. I also wanted to do a Q&A on my James Allen um, purchase. Um, it's been about a year since I've gotten my ring, so I just wanted to answer some questions for you guys. I just put together some that I think that you may have. Um, if you have any additional questions, just comment down below and I'll be sure to answer them. I've already done two review, review videos on James Allen, so I'll have those linked down below if you want to check them out. Um, I did an unboxing when I got my ring, and then I also did another video on my M color diamond, specifically focusing on the color. But yeah, um, let's get into the video. So the first question I have, do I regret choosing James Allen? So the answer to that is no. I could have gone anywhere to get my ring, like K Jewelers, Zales. They also have an, uh, another online um, place. I think it's called Blue Diamond. I could be wrong, but I checked out there too, and honestly, nothing beat James Allen prices. Um, and really, there's a lot that goes into diamonds, so I would recommend doing your research first. Um, you know, there's the color, the cut, the clarity, all of that. So yeah, definitely do your research, but their prices are unbeatable and they've got so much to choose from, like really so much. The next question that I have is my M color diamond. Do I regret getting um, a diamond with a lower color grade? And the answer to that is no. Um, again, I did a lot of research and I knew that I wanted something that was fairly large. So in order for me to do that, I needed to get something lower in color because I didn't want to sacrifice on the, cl the clarity or the cut, so the color was the next thing. But, I mean, if you just take your time and go through the diamonds and stuff, you can really find a good color M diamond that's not too yellow, and honestly, mine is not. So, the next question that I have is my setting. My setting sits up a little bit high on my finger, and I chose that because basically I have my wedding band that is obviously behind it and I did not want there to be a gap in between. A lot of the times when you pick um, settings that are a little bit lower, um, they'll, you'll have that gap unless you get like a contour wedding band, something that really like contours to the setting. But no, I don't regret my setting at all. Um, and really I don't hit it on much. I'm very careful whenever I'm wearing my ring. So I really try to avoid, you know, hitting it on things. Um, the next question is the carat size. So I went with a 2.25 and I love that size. I think if I would have went with anything bigger than that, it might have been too big. I'm not saying that I wouldn't go with bigger, but like way, way in the future. But I definitely don't regret the size. I'm really, really happy with it. I had a 1.29 before that and I definitely prefer the 2.25 over that. Sorry you guys, my son came into the bathroom. I also needed to go downstairs and grab my ring because how could I be filming this video and not actually have it on? Um, I wanted to show you guys what I was talking about with the gap. So, try to get this to focus a little bit more. Is it gonna do it? Okay. So you see how my band sits flush with my setting? That's what I like. When I had a lower setting, there was like a huge gap in between and honestly it just bothered me. It may not bother some of you guys, but yeah, I couldn't deal with that. But you can see right here my M colored. This is um, it's a little bit of natural lighting and then I have some lights on behind me, but you can barely see the yellow in it at all. And honestly too, having a white gold setting really helps. Um, so the next question is, would I choose them again? And yes, I would. Um, I really want to get an anniversary band from them. Um, I'm going to wait until they have their 25% off sale again. Um, but yeah, I love James Allen, so I would definitely go with them again. Um, they also have a lot of uh, wedding bands to choose from as well. And they have tennis bracelets. They have necklaces. Like, they literally have everything. And, and let me tell you guys, they run that 25% off sale, like, I would say maybe twice a month. I could be wrong, but at least every month they have some sort of sale going on. Um, the next question that I have is the customer service. How is the customer service? So I have a few of them that I really, really like to work with. Um, you know, in customer service, you get a mix of people. Some are better, some are not. Um, I can't remember the girl's name. If I can find it, I'll have it linked down below for you guys, just in case you want to get anything from James Allen. She's really good to work with. She's very knowledgeable. I would say the ones that have been there the longest definitely know their stuff. And two, James Allen, like, 
again, the handful of people that I have worked with, they've just made me so comfortable. Because, I mean, when choosing a diamond, it's very stressful. Because, like I said, there's so many different things that go into it. And I think my biggest thing that I had an issue with was um, I, f I found a lot of diamonds that I really liked, like the carrot, the quality, all of that was on point. But there's also the inclusions that come into it as well. So I really wanted to stay away from diamonds that had the cloud inclusions. And in order to view their GIA reports, you actually have to be chatting with somebody. And that's very, very important when you're selecting a loose diamond is to make sure you're looking at the report because you want to see what type of inclusions that you have in your diamond. So I would definitely stay away from anything that has a cloud in it because it can really take away from the brilliance of the diamond. Um, also, if you have any cracks that are close to the surface, like the feather cracks, stuff like that, you want to stay away from those too because you could accidentally hit your ring and because it's so close to the surface, you know, it could crack the rest of the way. But anyways, I'm no diamond expert. You'll definitely want to chat with somebody if you have a lot of questions because they're very, very knowledgeable. And again, anybody that I've worked with that I can remember or look back on, um, I'll have to look through my orders and stuff to see. But I'll definitely put that below for you guys if you want to reach out and chat with I'm going to link their website for you guys in the description box below if you guys want to browse their website and just check it out. Um, again, if you guys have any questions, just comment down below and I'll be sure to answer them. But I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll be back soon with more. Bye guys.